brothers and sisters in Christ. Jesus. Oh, big priest man. It's just good to be here. Yes, sir. Amen. In spite of the devil, it's like he'll win this one. Yeah. yeah. So we just thank the Lord for everything. Amen. Amen. So, y'all don't mind it. They just sing a little bit of hold the dogs. Unchanged name. Unchanged Yes, sir. Come on, Bishop. He's the only one that can grip us and not be able to let us go. Amen. Time is filled with transition. Scripture means that seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. Come on, Bishop. And when he was said, his disciples came unto him. Uh -huh. And he opened his mouth and talked to him, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Blessed are they that mourn, yes. for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they yes. shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, yes, for they shall be feed. Yes. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they yes. shall yes. see God. I'm going to stop right there. Oh, man, come on. Just for a few minutes, we just want to talk on church. We're too blessed <laughs> to be stressed. Ah, We're too yes, blessed to be stressed. Come on, Satan. He throws everything he can at yeah, us to, to right. try his best to pull us away That's right. from serving God. That's right. He wants you to believe, like I was telling them yesterday at the home going service of Brother Leo Martindale. Psalm 84. 
deals with the sons of Korah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And for years, I always, I never did in depth study, I always thought Korah was a woman. But my grandmama's name was Korah. Korah was one of the Levites. Yeah, yeah. He was the son of the Levites. And Levites are keepers of the temple. That's right. And we know that that's like uh, deacon and associate minister. Uh -huh. And Urshan, we are keepers of God's temple. Come on, Bishop. And the mothers oversee what go on in the temple. But that's right. Back then, you know, women couldn't go into the temple. That's right. They had to stay on the outside, and the husband would have to tell them what's going on when they come out if they saw a need to let them know. But here it is, we have people today, they take ownership of God's doing, and they don't want to give God the credit that he's due. Like old folks say, if you give them an inch, they'll take them out. That's even in the church house, y'all. You know, why can't we get along and love one another? What was his name, Rodney King? Uh -huh. In California, when uh -huh. they all beat him up, the police and all of uh, them. You know, this is Black History Month. It's it. And, 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 and they beat him so bad that the, the, the uh, California, Los Angeles, they had to give him a great sum of money for the beating that he took. But let me tell you something, baby. Uh, think about the strength that the Lord took for us. Ah. And they didn't give him a walk. Come on, Bishop. They wow. crucified him. For looking to our lives and to bless yeah. us and the agony and the pain that he took on for us. And every strike that he took, the words said 39 because they couldn't do the 40. Right. Because 40 meant that they might kill him and then they'd be messed up. Uh -huh. see him. So they beat him 39 times and they beat him so bad that his skin, they say he looked like a Swiss cheese or he looked like a, a cottage cheese. They, yeah. they just pulled the skin off of him and the muscles out of him. And yeah. They just kept on beating him because he loved us so much he wouldn't give in. He just took it and he just said, well, I'm going back to the Father and I'm going the way that the Father want me to come. And you're not going to change what I'm doing, Satan. I came down to die for mankind. I came down for you to spit on. I came down for you come to on, kick. Man. I came down for you to kick. You did everything you could, but the one thing you couldn't do, you couldn't take salvation away from me. Come on! The one thing I, I left him, I knew salvation was with me. But the, the, let me tell you, the load got so heavy that he had to talk to the Father. You know, how many times do you try to carry the load by yourself? Oh, instead God. of asking the Lord for a little help. You know, if Jesus talked to the Father and told him that it was too heavy for him, in the garden of Gethsemane, why do we try to carry the load by ourselves, knowing that we're well, just no on, uh, See, we're not Christ uh, in the flesh. He was God in the flesh. Yeah. But he still had so much turmoil and pain that he had to call on the Father. And that's why, leading up to him being crucified in Matthew 5, he was telling them who was going to go to heaven and who wasn't going to hell. Yeah. You know, if you want to go to heaven, he said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let me tell you something, you, people can beat you down yeah. and make you forget you're a Christian if you're not praying real good, if you don't have your prayer line open, they make you cuss when you don't want to. Then you look back and say, what did I just say? Uh -huh. People look at you right strange. Cause it came out and you said, I don't do that no more, but Satan is, is rapid and he's right. strong. And if you're not praying up just right in the name of Jesus, he'll make you do things that you normally wouldn't do. And he That's said, right. uh, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comfortable. Let me tell you something, death coming to all of us. Come on. I lost my son, I lost my mother, I lost my daddy, yeah. I lost my mother-in-law, I lost my father-in-law, I lost my brothers. Let me tell you something, and God still blessed us to come out and praise him. You know, everything live must die but after death. But the you can't live in the graveyard and serve God at the same time. Uh -huh. I like that. That's the reason I like the part where he said, well, two or three come together in my name, in my house, I'll be a God in the midst. Yeah. You know, if you're out there in the middle of the street and you call it on God, God can answer your prayer. All you got to do is look to the hills from which comes your yeah. help, and all your help comes from the Lord. And I thank God for right now, if man did, you 
you got to look to the hills, baby. You got to thank God. Yeah, it might be yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. You might be one of them that fall around and people talk about you, but let me tell you, they talk about Jesus. Right. And why you think they're not going to talk about you? Whoa, you think man. It's good to know he put you somewhere close to where he is because he said, if, they, if you look like me, they're going to treat you like they treated me. But right. see, the key is, they can't do nothing to you. All you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus yeah. got the power to make Satan get back. Yes, and leave you alone. Don't you worry about what nobody out there 54, 1 through 7 talks about uh, uh, every now and then uh, no weapon that formed Lord, against you shall yeah. prosper. And you know the Lord, you ought to know you got the arm of God on yeah. you. You ought not to have to worry about anything. And, uh, Philippians 4, 12, 13 says, I can do all oh, things man. through Christ that strengthens me. I ain't worried. Yeah, you're not me now. You make me cry, but let me tell you something. You can't make me deny my Lord. Yeah. Every now and then we need to stop and say, you Lord, uh, show me the way. And I thank you, Lord, for everything you bless me with. That means I love the song where it says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I ain't got no way about what nobody say because Ephesians 6, 10 said, I put on the whole arm of God. Let me tell you something, you might throw your rods, you might throw your spears, you might even try to shoot at me. But let me tell you, the bullets go one way and God make me lead another way. Ain't all right? You can't hurt me. And the Lord say, you got to go, you can't stay. And if he said, we got to stay, you can't go. You better just trust God. When you wake up in the morning, you don't have to pray a long prayer. Just say, do Lord, show me the way. Lord, thank you for letting me see a day that went from grandma and granddaddy. Let me tell you something. They wouldn't have got to where they were if they hadn't knew how to pray. They had 15, 16, 17 children. Didn't have a great education. They did all they could in the field in order to get food. Some of them had to go to the white folks' houses in order to get money to come in and take care of their children. But one thing about it, granddaddy, we had a grandmama take them dungarees, uh, what, the, what they call them, you know, the overalls, and she wash them up real good, and, and she get that, that iron, and she pressed that, 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 that the overalls out, and granddaddy, he had them, uh, them uh, 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 broke hands, that's what we just called years ago. You know, and, and he put a little lard on them and make them shine up real good. Right, right, right. After he'd been out in the field working, yeah. he, but he still went to church. He didn't mind going to call everybody in the church looked the same way. Right. And everybody was calling on the same God. Right. That's what I'm telling you, church, we're too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. We have everything we need and more. But the one thing uh, we're lacking right now is people don't believe that God is able to lift up, bow down heads, and give ease to a truth. Man, as soon as something negative, something dark to come in, we throw up our hands. We just don't believe in the Lord oh, sure. that we serve can make a way out of no way. But I'm going to tell you, you better hold on to God's unchanging hand. I was looking at uh, Maxi Corruptor's daddy, Maxi Corruptor Jr. I was looking at his card uh, just this morning. I got it in my pocket. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, he passed away in 2020. But I know when it was in February. Ain't he all right? I got a good memory. Right, but I tell you, he's up there right now. Dick and Corona said, Preach, Pastor Ray. Oh, tell man. my my baby, Max, that I'm still uh, the same uh, that I was when I was down there. You tell Max that I said, uh, Trust God and yeah. do what I told him when, when I was coming because he was a good man. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. But what we got to do is we got to relate uh, to God in our own way. Uh, yeah. We got to, first of all, uh, thank God for thank waking you. us up this morning. Yeah. You might have a little alcohol. You might not walk the way you used to walk. You might not be able to talk the way you used to talk. You can't see as well as you used Come to on, see. But let me tell you something. Old folks said, if I can just move, move my hand. I said, thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you bless me with. I look at my queen, and I thank God. When I hear get up in the morning, I said, Lord, you woke up again. And I want to thank you for somebody that laid down last night. Get up. Get up this Come on, Bishop. Ain't you all right? Yeah. Some people open their eyes, but they couldn't move their body. Ain't you a good God? And God blessed us to come out here. There's not a lot of us here, but I'm going to tell you something. There's enough here for right now for every day in the week. I see seven people in the seven days in a week, and that means completeness. And I ain't worried about what nobody 
still say that. But let me tell you something. Some of them could have came. They didn't come. And some of them that didn't come wanted to come. But that's all right. As long as Jesus is here, that's all we are coming to lift up. Because he told me to let you know that there can't nobody get into him except by Jesus. You can't get in there calling on a ruler. And you can't come in and get in there calling on all ways. You got to call on the name of Jesus. The Bible said that every knee gonna bow and every tongue gonna confess that he's God all by himself. And you're all right. Let me tell you something. Right now, I feel like I'm up at on Mars, Mars Hill. I feel like I feel like Paul was. I feel like Abraham Isaac and Jacob. I feel like I feel like right now. Well, thank you. Don't look at the crowd. Look at your blessings. Because I can go all the way down through here. Blessed are the meat, for they shall inherit the earth. Yes. Blessed are those that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be free. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall inherit obtain mercy. Yes. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. All of this applies to us. Yes. All we got to do is do what the Lord tells us to do. The Beatitudes cover the glorious hope and reward yeah. the believer can expect. The glorious hope, I like that. It's you can't wow. get to him just in any kind of way. Amen. People might do you wrong. People might talk about you. You tell them that you're God's son, God's daughter. My father in heaven knows everything. The way you're talking about me, he's saying, you bless me. Because you didn't retaliate and strike back. That's what people want you to do nowadays. They want you to strike back so they can talk about you. He took on everything that we're taking on down here and more. And he never said a moment. Any good to know that we have a God that loves us. Amen. In spite of us. Amen. Of us. So let us learn to pray and be there for one another, help one another. I'm praying for the sick and shut-in all over the land and the country. Not just black folks, not just white folks. I'm praying for the people over there, Afghanistan and Germany. And I'm even praying for the Russians because all the Russians over there are not trying to do wrong. That's right. That's right. Praying for the people in China yeah. and North Korea. That's right. I'm praying for people in the world. Because God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah. And this world belongs to Him. Yeah. But we, what we do, we point to where we want to pray for. But He said, all of them are my children. That's, right. That's why when I came together on the day of Pentecost, they didn't come together all of them listening and understanding and about uh, and what, what the people were saying. They understood in their own language right. because God created everybody. Right. Now what we need to do is stop hating Come on. and start loving. Stop hating. Right. Love you one another as I have loved you. Yeah, they don't throw things at you. But just tell them I'm too blessed to be stressed. Knock me down. As the Lord will pick me up. Yeah. Old folks say the worst thing you can do is knock me on my knee because that's when I'm going to really pray. Ah! <laughs> and we're right about it. Now, anybody in here ever had, had to pray on your knees when people did you wrong? Yeah. yeah. Tears go coming down, meeting the other under your chin. All right. And you said, Lord, I, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do that. But he said, don't worry about it. I got it. And you cried, you have to, because I got a cup for your tears. Ah! And I got a book for your grown. And there's nothing that they can do can hurt you because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Second Chronicles 7. Y'all know what it says. Yeah. And if you don't, I don't need it to. But this is real. If my people, which are called, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, right. and seek my face and turn okay. from their wicked ways, then will I. Then. Heal from hell and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes shall be open and my ears are tent unto the prayer that is made in this place. But now 
have I chosen to sanctify this house? <coughs> this house right here been sanctified. Yes, sir. Amen. Don't let nobody tell you no different. They can say whatever they want to. But we know this is God's house. Yes. I have sanctified this house, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Everything is all right. In two weeks, this church will be in existence for 22 years. If it wasn't for God on our side, we wouldn't be in this church today. That's right. We wouldn't be as strong as we are in faith. That's right. Because, see, we don't take the credit for nothing. That's right. God sent us, God's working us, and God's going to reward us. Yes. Don't worry about how many is here or whatever, because I found out most all of the churches are falling away. So people, this, this virus that, that's out there or out there, took a whole lot of people away from serving God. Right. But they don't belong to us. We don't want to have to ask him. He called us today and we ended up, uh, this old shell out there ended up to Terrell Road, mm -hmm. Smith Brothers, S.A.G., or whatever, you know, Lewis and Wright, that would just be a shell. He's looking at the spirit on the inside. Come on now. If you faithful enough, and if you love the Lord enough to pray for those that are spiteful and misused. Yeah. Feed those that's hungry. Yeah. Close those that don't have clothes. Yeah. This is what we're supposed to do. Right. Old folks say, if you got something you haven't worn in five years, you don't need it. Right. Praise the Lord, because I remember, I ain't joking, I remember when I didn't have all the change of clothes. Come I on had. now, come on now. And my wife and I, we give all we can. Yes. And we're going to give some more. But the best thing I can give you today is Jesus. Thank you. When you got Jesus, that's all you need. Thank you. Amen. Thank God for what you do have. Thank you. Don't, don't, don't be relishing on what I want, what I don't have. You got more than you ever had in your life. That's right. I don't think we got no millionaires in here. And if you have it, you ain't telling nobody. You ain't sure. <laughs> but if you got it, I-25 Mead Avenue, that's your church address. Don't forget about the Lord. Amen. Amen. God don't ask for much. He just asks for faithful people. That's right. right. And all of that that we do and we let Satan lead us, that's not God's will. That's us wanting to please society. Mm -hmm. This is not your home. You just travel through here. Just travel through. But one thing about it, a traveler, you always got to destination you're trying to get to. That's right. And I'm trying to get to heaven myself. Come Amen. on, Bishop. And I pray you are because we got some good people here. And thank God for right now. I know you're getting ready to get out right now. But when you go out of here, tell somebody we're too blessed to be, be stressed. Amen. Don't have hundreds of people in but God is in every empty seat in here an angel of God. There's God of witnesses that we come in here Amen. praising God. And I thank God, and I'm here to let you go, but I thank God for you, and everybody here is a member, but I still have to offer the right to the discipleship. I don't know your relationship. Right. So I'm going to ask if there's anybody here that would love to come, rededicate their life, or just ask God's blessings up on you in this yes, sir. situation. This is your time. This is your time. Uh, so you can come by letter, personal experience, family, for baptism, uh, one's there, or rededication.